Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on engineering science and two, uh, working on electricity. Uh, question number nine from the question paper of November, 2022. Uh, so we're not going to waste much time. We are going to quickly rush through the questions that we are given uh, on question number nine, electricity. So the first part on 9.1 was to name two types of resistors that may be used in a circuit. All right, what are the types of resistors that we have? So remember, we have got uh, fixed resistors, all right? So we can work with the fixed resistors. Also, we can work with adjustable resistors, okay? That's adjustable resistors, all right? So these are the two types that we can actually have and that's two marks for that. Okay, on uh, question 9.2, we are given to state Ohm's law. So remember that Ohm's law is taken from the current, that current is equivalent to voltage over the resistance. So we can explain this in words now as follows. Uh, I want us to have this from this one, that the current flowing in a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage as we saw that current is equivalent to voltage and inversely to the resistance, which is over the resistance, okay? So that is your Ohm's law, all right? Uh, so that was question uh, 9.2, all right? On question 9.3, we are now given a condition that there are two resistors which are connected in parallel and their total is two ohm, okay? Calculate the resistance of one resistor if the other one is a resistance of three ohms, okay? So take note, guys, we have got two resistors which are in parallel in this case, okay? So this is question 9.3, all right? So we've got two resistors in parallel, okay? So we are given the total of these two resistors in parallel, which is two ohms and one of the resistors is given as three ohms. Now calculate the second resistor, we do not know. Okay, we know that for the two, for two resistors, the, the parallel combination is supposed to be the product over the sum in order for you to calculate this equivalent RP. So that means RP, the total was the product of two resistors, R1 and R2, so that was R1, by R2 over R1 plus R2, okay. So we have the total of the resistors in parallel, which is two ohms, which is equal to R1, which is three ohms. So it is going to be three times the second resistor, which is R2 in this case. So this is three R2 over R1 again, which is three plus are a two like this. So what we have done is that we have formulated an equation where you need to solve for the unknown, which is R2. So how can you solve this equation? That is the question, okay? Uh, we can see that from our mathematics here, we've got a fraction. So we can cross multiply to remove the fraction. That's two times three, which is six, two times R2, which is two R2. So take note, two multiplies everything. On the other side is one times three R2, which is three R2. So how can we find R2? We can transpose two R2 to the other side of the equation. This is going to be a negative. Take note, if it was a positive, so we're going to have it as negative two R2. That is three minus uh, two, three minus two, which is one. So we have got R2. So therefore, the second resistor R2 is equivalent to six ohms, okay? Uh, that is, uh, that was going to be uh, the equivalent answer in this case. As you can see, guys, it was a pretty clear uh, type of a question. All you needed was the formula, then to substitute into, into the formula. Okay, so that was question 9.3 or 9.4. Uh, we are given that calculate the length of a copper conductor with the diameter 1,3 millimeters and the resistance of three ohms at 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so take note, we need the, to calculate the length of the copper. Okay, uh, we know that 
Okay, let's write this. We know that the resistance is equivalent to rho L over the area, where we've got the resistivity here times the length over the area, okay? So we need to calculate L, which is the length, okay? Calculate the length. So you can make the length the subject of the formula uh, by cross multiplying because this is same as R over one. So remember uh, from your mathematics and two guys, there's, there, there's a change of subject transpose where you need to transpose. So that is the part that you are playing with. So it's R times A, that's R A is equal to one times rho L, which is going to give us rho L. So to find L, we divide by resistivity, by resistivity both sides. So our L is going to be area times, so our L is going to be resistance times area over the uh, resistivity, okay. We have a resistance of three ohms, okay. The area we are not given, Okay, we do not have the area. We are just given the diameter. Okay, then the resistivity, we are going to take it from uh, the information. Okay, we are going to take this. So we have to calculate the area and take note that we know that area is equivalent to pi d squared over four, which is supposed to be in square meters. So the diameter is supposed to be converted to meters where we've got milli. Remember guys, I told you milli means times 10 to the exponent of uh, minus three. So that's times 10 to the exponent of negative three, okay. So if it is times 10 to the exponent of negative three, we can have our formula like this. Our area is going to be pi times d squared, which is one comma three times 10 to the exponent of negative three squared like this, everything over four, okay. So we have, uh, an expression for area that we can simplify and obtain the answer. You can do that or you can leave it like that. Okay. Now we can just substitute the information since we want to calculate L. So L is equivalent to R, which is the resistance. We have got a resistance of three ohms times the area. This is the expression or the term representing the area, the whole of this part. Okay. So we are going to combine this, which is pi times. 1 comma 3 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3 squared over over 4 like this in this part. Okay, so this is a single part which is in the numerator. Okay, everything that we have here, we divide by the resistivity, which is of copper at 20 degrees Celsius. So from the information that we have in our question paper, the resistivity of copper, we take it from that information again, where we are given here that the resistivity of copper at 20 degrees Celsius is 0, 0,000, all these numbers. So you write that number as it is. So this is what you are going to have here. We are going to have uh, this part, okay? So we're just going to substitute here. Uh, at this point. Okay, so that whole number as it is. All right, so that was uh, 0, 0,000 and we've got 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,00018 like that. Okay, so this here is a single number in the numerator. Okay, you divide by this number direct on your calculator, you obtain the answer, which is going to be 221,220 if you round it properly in meters. Take note, this is length. So your length is measured in meters. So they just want you to play around, guys, with your formula. So if you know your mathematical skills from your mathematics, revise your mathematics also. That helps you to manipulate a formula or to work out with the change of subject of formula. You need to know this from your mathematics. Okay. On 9.5, we are now given to draw a neat uh, that's draw a neat labeled sketch to demonstrate mutual induction by using soft iron rod. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to show you uh, what I'm having here on the diagram so that we do not uh, relate uh, different from what the departments want, uh, want actually from us here. So this is what we have. Okay, so we've got the primary coil. 
the secondary coil and the iron ore and the galvanometer like that, okay, and the battery. So this is what we have here. So let me just indicate here, we have got our galvanometer. So that's our galvanometer here, all right? And we have uh, here, uh, which is our battery. So there we have got our battery here. And at this point, this is our switch, okay? We have a switch there, all right? So that's what we have, guys. And uh, we can even refer to as coil A, coil A and coil B, or primary and secondary, okay? Then the ion core, uh, that's what we have. So as you can see, it's a pretty clear. All you need is to just revise, guys, revise uh, your diagrams. Uh, you must know for mutual induction, uh, how to apply this diagram and uh, even the explanation itself, they might ask you to just explain. So that's what we had guys on question nine, which is uh, on electricity. Uh, that's, that's electricity uh, from November, 2022 question paper, uh, which marks the last part of the question uh, to have a total of 100 marks. So uh, thanks guys for being with us. Make sure that you subscribe if you are new and to share our videos to your colleagues and friends at, at the school that you are so that you can help uh, a friend uh, somehow, somewhere. Please make sure that you share, uh, like and comment. Let us know the areas to work with or the, the, the question papers that we can revise so that we can revise those question papers together. And uh, it can help you as you are revising towards uh, the final exams which are ahead of time. So that's it guys for Mason African Motives till we meet again.